First, it was a herd of feral goats running amok in a rimba, jumping on cars and gallivanting across town. Now it's a pride of peacocks causing divide in the local community. Beautiful as they are, some locals want them gone and have approached ACA to ruffle some feathers on the central coast. There was about 14 in, in our driveway here one time. They are a hazard. I cannot grow any veggies in my garden. Yeah, it's annoying at 4 o'clock, but... 4 a.m. And they are dirty because they just <laughs> leave their droppings all around. If you're moving to Arimba with like a fancy car, then you're probably in the wrong place. However, there's many Arimba residents who love having them around. I think it sort of gives Arimba a really magical quality. Um, that's part of the reason why I moved here because we're just so close with nature here and you just, you feel like you're back to your roots. It's not like a, you know, a big suburban area, even though it is. So I love it. You just wake up in the morning and you're walking down the street and there's just peacocks hanging out going, hey, look at me. Like, it's great. It's I've been here for 30 years. I've uh, been caring for the animals in this area for quite a long time. I have had uh, training through Wildlife Arc for several years and I'll go and pick it up, I'll treat it, and I'll rehabilitate it and release it back onto the street again. I've done that for years. I don't know how many I've rehabilitated. I've lost count. <laughs> but many agree they're multiplying rapidly and the number of peacocks is becoming a problem. Several good breeding seasons with the peacocks have resulted in an abundance of birds and they're everywhere and they're causing some concern to neighbours. Well, I think the numbers are, are a problem and uh, my issue is the fact that they're an introduced species and uh, whenever there's an introduced species, it's obviously going to displace a native animal. And um, I believe that at, 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 uh, way back when there was only a couple of them, so it wasn't a problem, but of course they breed and now it's becoming a big problem. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think something needs to be done. They just walked in here one day. To my house, I'd been here probably eight to ten years at the time. Uh, I had a couple of young boys, and um, they just walked in and put a, a dish of water out. They ate the water, we put some seed out, they ate the seed, and have been coming back ever since. Many motorists do stop to let these feathered friends cross the road, but sadly, some have taken matters into their own hands. It's, it's the idiots who treat this as a rat run and couldn't care less about the results. As I said, I personally witnessed one getting run over on the road here only a week, week ago and the person just driving off like they don't care. I, I can't, honestly, I can't fathom anybody doing that to a wild animal. I really can't. The thing's doing its death throes in the middle of the road and they drive off. So what's the solution? We have to manage them sensibly. Um, that's the critical part of it. It's no different to anywhere else, whether you're on a property and you're managing a flock of cows or sheep. If you have too many, you move them. If you can't support them in the environment, then you move them to another environment that they can be supported in. Uh, unfortunately, you know, it's, it's evolved so fast uh, that now people are getting to the point where they're becoming stressed about it. It shouldn't be. We should be able to appreciate the wildlife that's here. Central Coast News has reached out to Council, local land services, wires and national parks to see what can be done to address the community's concerns. Calgary's Walkabout Wildlife Park has also agreed to take on some of the younger males to help reduce numbers this breeding season. Well, I think the council should look at uh, rehoming them, you know, to be honest, and uh, that's not happening. And, you know, you, you, we could have this interview again in three years' time, there'll be loads more and then something will have to be done. So I think somebody needs to step in, the authorities need to step in and uh, have a look at this situation and deal with it. And as for growing veggies in a rimba. Now, something that I want to put on record and clearly state, peacocks do not dig up vegetable gardens. Turkeys do. Do something about the turkeys, you'll fix your problem. Okay? Sky Hull, Central Coast News.